I have a treat for you today. Sort of like in the middle of it. We're gonna 3D print some new plastic sliders for the windows. Cause if you're having an issue with your Discovery 2, window regulators sounding like they're working really hard or just uh, your windows popping or just not moving in general, um, I'm gonna show you something. This little plastic thing, I already fixed the passenger side and I 3D printed a new piece and I'm gonna show you how I do that and fix the driver's side because this is the driver's side and it's broken because, and now it goes up and down really slow, which sucks. So come with me and I'm gonna show you how to take your door apart. That's the passenger side right there. That one broke in half and the driver's side broke. So, pull this up, y'all. This is my design. I need to adjust it and make it a little bit smaller. But um, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Now that you got the, those little things there printed, screw here, here, two down there, one right here. And these two take them out you know what i'm saying that'll pop off a trim pool will pull all these little nuggets that hold this on there so i just i've done this a bunch so i'm just going to use my hands and it goes all the way around just like so easy um, and boom all right don't throw it to the side yet because you gotta undo the speakers yep I just I cut a little slit in this stuff so you can put tape on it easily we gotta drop the window down to the here. There you go. Next, you wanna pull your pants down. Psych, pull this out. This is what actually holds the window. And you can see that the middle of that roller that I showed you earlier is still on there. So I gotta clean that off. You wanna pull that bolt too. And then this whole bracket will slide over. If you know what I'm saying. So push the window up and out of the way. Yep, there you go. See, now she's released. Push that over, clean that plastic off. See? They go together like that and you don't have to glue it because that piece it goes around like that other slider did and it goes down the track and the track keeps it together see it in there unfortunately though because the printer like has variances and these brackets probably aren't always the same did have to sand a little bit off the edges and like get it just right. But uh, let's put it back in reverse and see, let's put the window back on and see what it does. Freaking works. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, I thought I was done. Uh, but uh, I printed more because I want to try a couple different designs, ones that I don't have to sand, or if you guys want some, you don't have to sand them. You just put them together, put it in, and you're done. Okay. Close the garage so no one comes in. Um, 
I can do like cool stuff. So those are the broken ones. Here is the new and improved ones that I just printed. Radius to the edge, put them together. This one's a piece of shit and that one's a piece of shit. So I'm gonna try to see if this will replace these. The window apart again. See what's bothering me is that on the way up the window still sounds like it's struggling. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that and uh, make it not sound like that. If I can't then I'm gonna, that means my motor is going bad, but I'm gonna try this because if, if this works, you know, I'll actually like send them to you. Just hit me up in the comments. Take the window up a little bit, push this over and take the old one out. The old one's all fucked up. Old one sucks. This new one should be pretty fire. Okay. No sanding involved. Ah. Okay. Let's put this in the vise here. I could take a little more down. I bet you the freaking, um, cause the 3d printer has like, you know, a tolerance of which it will print to. I wonder if this is like right on the edge of that. So if you want some, I'm not going to print anymore. You're just going to have to sand it down until it fits decently. Shall we? Fingers crossed. Hey. Okay. It's sort of driving me nuts. So I'm gonna take that motor out. Fuck it. I'll go fuck. You gotta pull this, which was right here, this screw, and then these three. And then that whole piece will drop out. But you gotta take the window apart first so that you can pull the window up and out of the way. Oh. Which hopefully that'll stay where I want it. One, two, three, four. There's actually four bolts that hold this motor in. Once you get loose, you can reach that plug in here. Fucking because I can't see anything. Boom. That's how you get the regulator out. Right. Looks like Phillips head. If you see my other videos, you will see that this is a similar kind of motor as the sunroof. And uh, these can have a, the same sort of fate as the sunroof by just getting fucked up inside and you gotta clean them out. piece comes out just gotta keep working it around okay oh see how it's green let's clean that up because she's not like working real real good I'm just cleaning that oxidation off. So we'll jam this back down into its home. 
And then these little boogers here, they gotta go around that copper collar. We'll take this guy. This looks like an important piece. Put a little grease on there. Stays looking good. All right, so when you're putting it back in there, be careful because this shit has to line up right so that the switch goes back in correctly. Just those little pins there. You know. Now I got it back in. Don't forget there's four screws on the motor. Um, one thing I did notice when I was pulling the passenger side out and this side was all these screws are fucking loose. And that could be part of a reason why those little wheels are breaking because it's allowing the motor to move and it's changing the geometry and it's binding. But uh, just clean the motor, buckled it all back together, put the um, window back in. So let's see what she does. I mean, that sounds better. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. You might be thinking, Jimmy, why were you being so neurotic about it, going slow? Well, I just am. So if you are like me and you want your windows to work how they should, do that. All right, I'm gonna show you what I do the tape. So the tape that I get is kind of, it's expensive, but it's designed for air ducts, is this. This shit sticks so well, and it stays stuck. Basically what I'm gonna do is just tape over all this shit, you know, so that we retain a little bit of that seal. There you go. And that's how you do that. Again, if you want me to print you some of these parts um, to fix your door, your to fix your window regulator, hit me up. Uh, we'll print these out and I'll send them to you. Uh, in their current form, you got to sand them down a little bit and to get them to work right. But um, that's just how it is. You're getting something free that's going to save you a hundred bucks or whatever a window regulator costs. $150, I don't know. To me, it's worth it because it's easy to take the door off. So be easy. Have a good day. Good week. Good year. I love y'all. Bye.